What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the sleight of hand, a Telgorn dropship that was used by Cad Bane. But at the end, I want to take some time to talk about the Justifier, another ship that we could have seen Cad Bane use. It was manufactured by Telgorn Corporation, the creators of the DX9 Stormtrooper Transport, and the Gamma Class Assault Shuttle. Its cost is unknown, but at a length of 17 meters, or 56 feet, it was about as long as the LAAT gunship. And when these rear engines were at their highest point, it was around 7 meters, or 23 feet tall, about a Wookiee shorter than an ATST. And at 5 meters, or 16 feet wide, it was just over one hut across. And interestingly, Bane didn't add these weapons, it came stock with these two heavy laser cannons, an ion cannon on the starboard side, and the mounted laser turret up top. Of course, Cad Bane had other ships as well, including the Zandu Blood a rogue-class starfighter, and was even given his own munificent-class star frigate. But the name Sleight of Hand referenced this ship's purpose, since he used it to make cargo and people disappear. It is unclear how many people it could transport, but it seems similar in size to the LAAT, meaning it would have room for nearly 30 passengers. This was one of the ships that Bane used the most, and it actually housed one of his most impressive stolen items, a prototype gravity weapon. This weapon could produce a gravitic polarization beam that was able to rip apart materials on the molecular level, and Bane was able to intercept it while it was being transported upon a munificent class frigate on its way to Count Dooku. He destroyed the entire capital ship to cover his tracks, making it look like the weapon was destroyed in the explosion, but just as he was about to make it onto the sleight of hand, the weapon was then stolen by him, by its creator, Cole Tesca. This scientist took the gravity core, and stole the sleight of hand, using it to make his way to his facility on the planet Befor. Bane was obviously pissed, and tracked him to Bepor, and intervened in the scientist's fight with Skywalker and Ahsoka, leaving Tesca to die, while taking time to sabotage Dooku and Ventress's Sheathapede transport, before flying away to safety on his reclaimed sleight of hand. Throughout the Clone Wars, Bane would use this on secret assignments for Darth Sidious, eliminating or saving people that were important to the Dark Lord's rise to power. It was also used to attack countless traitors in Republic supply ships, using its weaponry to knock them out long enough to allow Bane to collect the most valuable items, which he then used to upgrade the shields, hyperdrive, and sensor jamming equipment, so that the vehicle was essentially invisible to both Republic and CIS military vehicles. An unfinished episode shows that the Clone Wars writers intended Cad Bane's story to end at the hand of Boba Fett, but the ultimate fate of the sleight of hand is still unknown. But what we do know is that the Justifier was intended to be Bane's ship later in the series, which would have been one of the strangest and heavily armed ships of any bounty hunter craft. It would have appeared in the second episode of the cancelled season, in this area containing the engine and weapons platforms, would have been able to align itself vertically and laterally, presumably for different attacking and landing positions. So that's it for the sleight of hand and the justifier, but most important of all, remember, sleight of hand is the best way to make things disappear, and the force will be with you, always.